We know that a lot of psychiatric disorders and things like schizophrenia and bipolar disorder and think causes of dementia like Alzheimer's disease have a genetic component. They run in families and that genes play a role. And we can use modern genetic and genomic methods, looking at DNA directly, to identify what genes are actually implicated. And then we work on a range of different psychiatric and degenerative disorders. And the reason that we're doing that is we want to understand the biology, what's, what's going wrong in the brains of people with these conditions, which we need to do before we can design better treatments. So the goal is to understand the biology of these diseases, design better treatments. And the genetics is, if you like, the way in. It's the first and only MRC centre in Wales and it's also the only MRC centre that's focused on neuropsychiatric illness and genetics, specifically this genetics and genomics aspect of it. And I think that's where it really stands out and, and a lot of the researchers within the MRC centre are, are world leaders in this field and, and publish in, in excellent journals and high impact and so on. I'm certain that with the increasing sophistication of the genetic techniques and the large and larger samples and international collaborations, there's much in store in terms of gene discovery, both in terms of the common variants and in terms of the various variants that are now coming out of the most recent work. A very exciting development then that I'm hoping to be very strongly involved in is to map function unto these genetic changes and I think that the next five years will bring us the first solid models of the functionality, certainly of some of these higher penetrant variants that recently have come out of the genetic research. So one of the exciting developments in the next few years will be our move to the new Hayden Ellis building. And as far as engagement is concerned, what's really exciting about that is there is going to be a public space in that building where we can bring people in. And there's going to be exhibition space in the building. And also lecture spaces where we can have talks, we can show films. And so I think as far as engagement is concerned, that the opening of the new building is a really exciting time for us. That will bring us all together on the same floor space, which will be great, so there'll be hopefully even more cohesiveness and we'll also be able to interact with our neuroscience colleagues much greater as well. What the centre has done for us has given us quite a lot of core support, which has really beefed up our ability to analyse data. These days we've come to understand that genetic effects are quite weak and in order to be able to exploit genetics we need to analyse huge data sets and the centre has given us an analytic infrastructure of people and equipment that enables us to do that and as a result of all that we've made what I regard as very good progress in Alzheimer's disease, schizophrenia, bipolar, ADHD. We're always very minded of the fact that the work we do here is completely focused on disease and patients who have these disorders, mental disorders, neurodegenerative disorders. And all our work is based on finding out what it is about these conditions which uh, give rise to the disease process itself. So the MRC Centre is in a very good place to do that with clinicians and preclinical scientists housed cheek by jowl, speaking to each other every day and working on common projects and indeed applying for common grants. I want to see much improved approaches to diagnosis. So us having you know, biomarkers, laboratory tests that we can use that will help with diagnosing bipolar illness, schizophrenia, etc. And then I want to see more effective treatments. So what we want is treatments that are more effective and have fewer adverse effects. And you know that really is what the research going on now will deliver. But it is a complex task and it's going to happen over a number of years, certainly a lot more than five years will be needed to turn that into the major changes in the clinic that we're seeking. I ought to really say how grateful we are to the MRC for funding us. I mean, they've not only funded us you know, during the last five years as a centre, but really for the last 25 years they've funded research into genetics, psychiatric genetics in Cardiff. They funded our major programmes on schizophrenia and on, on, on Alzheimer's disease particularly. Um, they've also funded, you know, m many of us trained as, when we were you know, younger, tra trained on scholarships that were provided by the MRC. They're a tremendous organisation and you know, none of this would have happened without, without them. I'd love to see one treatment in my lifetime that has emanated from some of the genes that we have found. That, that would be the crowning glory.